What's up, Penguin Kong? This is the Sesame Trailer, and today we've got some Minecraft. And let's just see how we're gonna do this. So, as you notice, I moved from that village on the direction I'm pointing that way, and I've decided to make a new home over here. I built it myself, and this is just what I call a prototype home. Pretty much a home where I want my home to be. Well, not really where it, near it. Just here to settle while I have the materials to actually make my actual home. This is my friend just putting a little extension to my little dirt home here. But now that you've got iron, let's just complete our armor and make some armor. Let's see. We need a helmet, we need that, we need this. Awesome. Let's go. There we go, we got full armor now. Alright, now let's see. Now that we have a good food source, as you see as we look outside. Very big plantation. Now, I don't really want to look at it too much, because when I look at it, the video tends to get all retarded. I notice that. Now right here. I've cleared out this whole area of all these stupid little front things. Because this is going to be where I want my house to be. And I'm going to make this house out of stone bricks. How do you get stone bricks, you might ask? Well, you can smelt cobblestone, or if you have a, what's it called, uh, a pickaxe with silk touch, and you mine regular stone, it stays a stone. And then you use the crafting table, and you make, dang, I am losing my train of thought easily. You make stone bricks. So I'm simply just gonna make like a little outline. I don't even count how much. No, I'm gonna count. So let's see. Whatever. It's how much I think. Just keep going. About to there. That's good enough. Make a nice big house. Alright. See. That's a big door there. Alright. That's good. That's good. It's getting dark. Oh well. Let's see. Make this house out of uh, uh, stone. I like to make houses out of stone because they look very nice. It's made out of stone. The only thing is that it requires plenty of stone to make a house. So if you notice, it took a lot of the stone, a full stack of stone, just to make this little outline border thing. So that's quite a lot. And what I tend to do is I don't really like to have this dirt floor, so I will tend to replace this whole floor. This entire floor with wood. I just like the way the wood looks on the floor. As you notice, my farm is getting good. Hi. Alright. So, yes, I like to make a prototype home next to my actual home that I'm going to make. And in the next video, I'll show you the complete home. But first, I'm going to require to get more coal. Because I don't have any coal, which sucks that I thought I actually had. Oh, not good. I don't have any coal at all. Anyway, to make stone, you need cobblestone and pretty much whatever it's called. See, stone bricks. You require stone. To get stone, you smelt cobblestone. Pretty simple. So, what did we learn so far? You want to make a prototype house near where you want to make a house. Have a good food source. Like, if you notice, my food source is huge. Now, I'll give you, what the hell is a switch? I'll give you a little tip on how to make this food source. Simply, have it surrounded one side by water, and then you can go over eight blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a water row, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a water row, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a water row. And the entire area in between can be used for wheat. And with wheat, you can make bread. That yummy bread that everyone loves. Yum, 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 yum. And I like to have a chest right next to it so that if I have any extra tools and stuff, like maybe I need this to help till the dirt and any extra stuff, I just leave it in here. Alright, so that way we have a good food source. We have a good place. And if you're wondering why I actually chose this place, like not in the middle of a random place, is because over here, as I will show you in a sec. Try to look away from that because it tends to make my feet and stuff. What is this? Oh look at that, it's a cave. It's a nice cave. That's one of the reasons. 
Oh, look at this, another cave. That's another reason. Look, another cave. Isn't that brilliant? One cave, two cave. Actually, that makes four caves near this house. See, I like to live near caves, because that way you get more materials to build up the place. Looks nice. Look, another cave. And look, another one. Isn't that nice? There's plenty of caves everywhere. This is just... God, top of the stone on my... Well, stone really. Yeah, plenty of caves. I recommend living near caves, but maybe not as close as I did for myself. Because mobs tend to spawn inside the cave, so if you want, you can make the entrance full of torches and stuff. That way you don't, like, really walk out, so you stay in there. And plus, I like to live out in the open. It's better than living in a village, because those little squidwards are a little annoying. Opening and closing your doors every five minutes. So, let's see. What's in the day? I live pretty close to the village because this area is really nice to the village. I could have lived in this village, but I don't like villages. It's too small. The houses. I'd rather make my own house. So, yeah, we've got our good food source. We've got whatever that is. My mud house, dirt house, whatever you call it. And then, starting to make my house. So, this is Ask Me Sure if you like the video. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to me, become a penguin, join the penguin colony today. Ask Me Sure. See you.